So this is kind of my first EDC segment. You're like, uh, haven't you been doing videos about EDC shit for a while now? Yeah, but these are things that I carry every day. Things that I've usually carried for years. And uh, I've read these things are called pocket dumps. So since that sounds kind of crude, I'm going to retitle this, What's in My Pants? So the first thing you'll find in my pants is usually my Spyderco Endura 4. And if you're familiar with this channel, you probably hate when I say Endura. Spyderco. Spyderco's the best. I like my Spyderco because love, love. I'm in love with my Spyderco. I'm in love with my chains. Well, love is a strong word. So this one is for all the people who fall in love with material items. Like Spyderco knives. So I actually have two of these blades I've carried for years. I bought the second one after I thought some asshole stole the first one. Turns out I was the asshole, and it was hidden down in a chair cushion. Cool story, YouTube bro. Anyway, both have held up like champs, so let's go over why I carry it. The Endura 4 has a full flat ground blade made from VG10 steel. The defining characteristic about this knife are its lightness for its size and its blade. Despite its size, and I'll go over the dimensions here, it fits very well in your pocket because it's thin, it's kind of low profile. Here, let me show you next to this uh, Griptilian. The blade size is nice for doing all the cutting. The smaller blade on my Leatherman Wave can't handle. I carry this with me more than anything else other than my wallet. It's a blade I carry about 85.674% of the time, no matter what I'm doing. The other 14.326% of the time I'm carrying another blade, am not wearing pants, or I'm not interested in a cavity search from the TSA. And who said you can't learn anything from this channel, man? Fucking math. Anyway, the blade, it's a full flat ground, drop point style blade. It has a spider hole for you to deploy the blade. The blade style here lends well to slicing things, shaving things, or most camp activities you do. Although when I say shaving, I just wanna make sure you don't think I'm at your face or pubes. Okay, good talk. The three and a half inch cutting edge allows me to slice through things larger, like apples, easily. The VG10 steel blade is nice, it stays sharp for a long time. I wouldn't call it a super steel or anything, but it has good edge retention and it comes razor sharp out of the box. One thing that makes sense when you have this blade is to pick up the Spyderco Sharp Maker, which is about $60, about the price of this knife. The edge on the Endura 4 is easily touched up with a 40 degree setting on the sharp maker. It's only ever taken me a few minutes to get it back to hair shaving sharp. So, um, ergonomics. The deployment is smooth but not lightning fast. With just a little practice you deploy and close with one hand. Although closing with one hand is a bit awkward. Another nice thing about the knife is the way the blade clicks into place with force and the way it folds up with a spring. Blade retention while closed is excellent and it hasn't gotten any less crisp or loose after years of use. The lock back lock has been sturdy and reliable for me for years with no issues whatsoever. The clip is repositionable into all four positions. Tip up, tip down, left, right, or missionary. I really haven't repositioned mine because it's not something I care about. Some people have mentioned the clip paint starts to wear away after a few weeks or months. That's absolutely true. Here are a few pictures of the two clips after a few years of use. I don't mind it because it kind of gives the knife some character. A big thing I like about the Endura 4 is the handle. It's not too thick, there's a little recessed jimping, but none is uncomfortable. Just some texture throughout that gives you some grip without being overly smooth. The handle is long enough that I have room to spare on either end of my hand when cutting. The handle has also held up to years of use without any cracks or chips from it. Despite the abuse you see sometimes on this channel, I don't do anything I shouldn't with this knife, like batoning. It's a basic cutting blade with great ergonomics that has a large enough for me style cutting blade. Inside the handle you'll find a stainless steel skeletonized liner which helps in add strength and reduced weight. So even if you're really mad that someone brought along a Red Delicious instead of a Granny Smith, like you asked on the hike, you won't squish the handle when you're white knuckling it. One thing I like is where the handle meets the blade. That area there with the jimping, well it's large enough so you can press against it when you're doing some heavy duty cutting. Now, sometimes I wish the deployment was a little faster, but honestly, there's no logical reason I need that, except to flip open the blade when I'm bored. Well, it's either that or, uh, making YouTube videos, bro. Anyway, if you like this review, subscribe to my channel, where I review all kinds of stuff. Comment on my video, give it a thumbs up, and treat yourself to something nice like an ice cream or a new pocket knife. 
and stay tuned for more shit you can find in my pants. Oh, and remember, love is gonna get you.